Hello everyone. Uh, today I am super excited to learn about homotheity. Homotheity is a geometric transformation and we will learn it using a little animation and at the end of this video I'll give you a challenge problem. If you can do it, put that in the comment. Okay. So we start with the circle. This is a blue circle and we have a point on that circle. Let's say point B. This is a super important point. This point will be known as the center of homotheity eventually. Okay, so let's draw another circle. This is a golden circle that passes through B and it's tangent to the blue circle. So this golden circle is just touching the blue circle at one point. That is the point B. The main idea is this, that this golden circle will sort of grow into the blue circle. It can grow into the blue circle and there is a smooth motion that makes it happen. And this motion is known as homotheity. So let me show you a little bit. See this blue, this golden circle is sort of glowing, bulging up and it moves into the blue circle, right? And then you can also bulge it down. And once you bulge it down enough, it will sort of shrink down to the point B itself. When, when this golden circle grows into the blue circle, a bunch of things related to the golden circle becomes the things related to the blue circle. And that helps us to solve a lot of geometry problems. So what do I mean by things? Well, let's say for tangents. Tangents to the golden circle become tangents to the blue circle. That's just one property. Center of the golden circle become the center of the blue circle. And a lot of other properties are also preserved. But let's look at the tangent. So suppose we have a point C on the golden circle and let's draw another tangent line, a tangent line through C to the golden circle. Okay. And then let's draw a point F. So how is this point F drawn? Well, it's basically if you draw the line through the point B to C, if you walk from B to C and keep on walking, the place you will hit the blue circle is the point F. So in other words, we say F is the image of the point C under homotheity. F is the image. So let's see how this happens. So when it's shrunk to a point, then of course the line, the tangent line becomes degenerate. But when it grows, look at point C sort of moving towards point F. That is the point C moving toward its homothetic image, which is the point F. And of course, if I draw a line that is tangent to the blue circle, a line that is tangent to the blue circle at the point F, then this golden tangent will sort of sit on the blue tangent. The tangent to the golden circle becomes the tangent to the blue circle. Look at how the tangent on the golden circle becomes the tangent on the blue circle. And to get the point of tangency, you just join B and C and extend it to meet the blue circle at some point. And that point is F. Okay. So that's great. So we understand what homotheity is doing. It's just growing a small circle into the large circle. And many of the things related to the small circle are becoming things related to the big circle. Right. So in particular, I will give you one problem that you can solve using homotheity. It's a very simple but beautiful property. So let me just draw the two endpoints of the tangent line D and E. D and E are the two places where the tangent cuts the deep blue circle. So now I will draw the two arcs DF and EF. The two arcs DF and EF. So DF is this red arc and EF is the green arc. Okay. So the claim is 
that the red arc and the green arc are equal in length. The red arc and the green arc are equal in length. So you can prove it using geometry, like synthetic geometry. But let me let me just show this to you. Look how the red arc and the green arc are diminishing in size in sort of the same rate until D and E sort of jumps on F. It's very important when you are doing geometry, it's very important to have this dynamic intuition and visualization in your mind. So can you give me an argument in the comment section, an argument to prove that DF and EF are equal arcs. And of course you can do it using geometry, normal geometry tools. But can you also think about why the golden circle growing into the blue circle makes DF and EF necessarily equal arcs. So think about it and tell me in the comment section. This was part of the Math Olympiad geometry module. Uh, if you are more interested in such things and Math Olympiad uh, related ideas, you can check the link in the description. Thank you for watching the video.